Hello, welcome to another video assembly. Today, I want to think about friendship. We all have friends, don't we? I'm sure some of you have got loads of friends. I wonder what kind of things you like to do with your friends. What kind of things do you think make a good friend? I'm going to be thinking about that today. So let's start with a bit of a guessing game. I'm going to show you some pictures here and I want you to see if you can work out what they're about, what they have to do with friendship. Here's a quiz about friendship. Have a look at these pictures. See if you can guess what's going on under the coloured shape before the time is up. Learning together in school. Playing football. A birthday party piñata. Enjoying a sleepover. Fun in the paddling pool. Eating lunch together. Having fun with a science experiment. And I want to tell you about a character in the Bible who was a good friend. And this character was not one of the ones who was really, really important. You know, sometimes if you watch a film or something on Netflix and at the end you get a whole list of people who were in it, you get the ones who are the main characters in the big letters whose names usually come first and then you get loads of other people who come later on. But that doesn't mean that they weren't important, does it? Because all of them were important to the film or the programme. Well, this character was called Barnabas, and he was a really good friend to a man called Paul. I'm going to learn more about his story in a minute, but I've got a bag full of clues here about the things that Barnabas did. Now, if I was in your school with you, I'd be getting some of you to come and have a look at the clues in this bag. But, well, I'm afraid you're not here, so we'll have to look at them together like this. So these are the clues about Barnabas. First of all, and most importantly, he was a follower of Jesus. So that's what the cross is there to remind us of that. And then we have a hand and we'll hear how he was helpful. He was a worker. Don't quite know what job he did, so I've just got just got some pliers here, you know. But I think he was a, a, a maker of things and a helper. And we've got a bandage. And we know Barnabas wasn't a doctor, but he did help people who were feeling sad or who were feeling unwell. We've got the heart to remind us that Barnabas really cared about people. And we've got a boat because Barnabas went on some travels. And uh, 
my globe here. He didn't travel all around the world, but Barnabas did travel around part of the world. We'll hear about that in a minute. Got a sandal to remind us that Barnabas sometimes would walk and visit people. And then, got an ear, because Barnabas was a good listener. He listened to his friend Paul and he listened carefully to God. And then lastly, a bag of money, because Barnabas was a generous character who gave away money to help others. So he sounds like a great person to have as a friend, doesn't he? And we'll think a little bit more about these objects and what made Barnabas such a good friend in a minute. Let's have a look at what the Bible tells us about Barnabas. He was born in Cyprus and the name Barnabas means somebody who encourages. We know that he was a follower of Jesus. This is what the Bible says. The group of believers was one in mind and heart. They gave witness to the Lord Jesus Christ. Barnabas came to help and took Saul to the apostles. That shows us how helpful he was. We discover that he was a hard worker. Paul said, are Barnabas and I the only ones who have to work for our living? We don't know the details, but it says God gave them power to perform miracles and wonders, showing that Barnabas cared about people. He was loving. The, ba the Bible says Barnabas was a good man, full of faith and the Holy Spirit. There's quite a bit in the Bible about Barnabas travelling. Barnabas and Paul went to Seleucia and sailed from there to the island of Cyprus. On another occasion it says this, Barnabas took Mark and sailed off, while Paul took Silas and went through Syria. Sometimes he would walk. The apostles went on to Iconium. The believers were full of joy. We know he was a listener. While they were listening to the Lord, the Holy Spirit said to them, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul to do the work for which I called them. Lastly, he was generous. Barnabas sold a field he owned, brought the money and handed it over to the apostles. Slapstick Theatre Paul and Barnabas this is Paul, Rawr. who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way, and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus to being one of them himself. Yeah! All right! When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up! But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man. They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Damn, huh? Follow me. Then a man named Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Hey. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah! They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. So what can we learn from Barnabas's life? We won't all do the things that he did. We won't have to travel around. We won't necessarily get into difficulties. We may not have the same people that to help. But we too can be good friends. We can be good listeners. 
we can help people in difficulties, we can be there for them, we can stick by people. And maybe we won't be the really famous characters. Paul in the Bible was a really famous character and Barnabas not so much. But everybody is important. Barnabas was just as important to God as Paul. And we too are important, all of us. So let's see if we can be a good friend this week. And I'll finish with a prayer. Dear Father God, thank you for all of our friends. Thank you that we can enjoy doing different things with our friends. Help us to be a good friend too. Help us to look out for people, to stick up for them. Help us not to always want to be in charge and to be the boss. Help us to be willing to be in the background. Thank you that Jesus will always be our friend. Amen. Thank you.